Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm out in the backyard. Today it's uh, just maintenance, cleaning up some of the borders, the edgings, and adding new uh, potting or garden soil to the area. And in the process, I had a delivery. And I have to share with you one of the new gadgets that I picked up. Um, from one of the websites, I'm gonna have to put it in the comment section, but it's called a basket well. And I hopefully you can see it. Um, it's for my hanging baskets. Usually I have two baskets. And last year I tried to hook up the drip irrigation to the baskets and it worked pretty well but I decided that I'm going to block off the uh, drip irrigation and use the basket wells and hopefully if it says or does what it says it's supposed to do this is going to be beautiful so I have to share with you one of my secrets, um, everyone speaks of Lowe's and how they can always find a great deal, but the best time to shop at Home Depot is on a rainy day towards the end of the week because they have a new shipment that's coming in and they normally try to move what they have uh, a, a surplus of. So while I... <clears throat> So while I was out on a rainy day, by the way, it's the best time to shop because in the garden area, because no one wants to be out in the rain. But I find that I get most of my discounts from Home Depot on days like that. So I picked up, this is called They call it Silver Falls. Let me turn this around so you can see it. I'm out in the sun, so let's see if I can get it. Silver Falls. Um, each container, each container is three dollars and ninety-eight cents. But at Home Depot, Thursday, on a rainy day. I'm just telling you what happens for me. I can pick up my plants at a discount. And this is another proven winner plant. And it's called Persian Shield. Each plant was only $1.99. I'm in Delaware, so like I said before, these are beautiful. Um, we don't have taxes. So for $1.99, I was able to pick up a tray of proven winners, a 10 pack. I bought the whole tray and I decided I would use this as my arrangement for my hanging baskets. So back to the gadgets. Um, each year I buy a liner. I put the liner inside of the basket. The old one I don't throw away. Uh, it is like a straw material. So when you pot up your containers of vegetables, your tomato plants, use the old liners to as a straw protection at the bottom of your um, potting soil for your tomato plants that will prevent them from having the uh, water splash up and causing the plant or the fruit to have um, end rot. Okay, so let's get started. So for my containers I'm going to again use the concept of filler, thriller, and spiller. 
um, I'm in the process of mixing up my potting soil that I will use in the hanging baskets. I have in my container uh, worm castings. I'm going to use perlite and a potting mixture and then add that along with the new basket well to the container and then I'll do the arrangement. Okay, so I have my um, worm castings in here. And I see a few worms. Uh, one, maybe two worms, and that's okay. I'm going to mix the combination of the perlite two cups of perlite and most likely four cups of the potting mix and mix it all together I'm not for sure if that's going to fill up the one hanging basket if not then the same procedure <coughs> for the second container so there we go and then just mix that up most likely I'll use all of this in the one container and I'll do the same thing for the um, other container now the reserve the well now the well is supposedly filled up and um, act as a reserve for the plants in the hanging basket. So we're gonna give that a test and see how it works for this season. So I'm going to place my container here. This is the well. It holds up to, <coughs> it reduces the drip. It's a reusable sturdy plastic and it holds up to one quart of liquid. So I'm just going to place this down the side of the container before I even put the potting mixture in. I'm trying to see if it snaps into place or not. It possibly can. Yep, it snaps into place. And I'll place it at the center of the. Um, these uh, cocoa liners. The cocoa liners I picked up at um, Home Depot. Yeah, Home Depot. But you can pick them up if you're early enough. You can pick them up at the uh, dollar store uh, for dollar twenty-five. And I'm just going to fill this up. with my potty mixture, which includes the worm castings. It's a little wet. So I'll just mix that around. And I think what I would like to do is add just a little bit more um, potty soil. I'd like to add just a little bit more of the potting mixture. It looks a little sparse. So I'll just add that in and then mix it in with the other soil that's already in. So I mentioned that I picked up this, the uh, two plants from Home Depot and it was uh, the proven winter brand but I also picked up a 
Krispies or the Vinca. The Vinca is a great sun loving plant for your container. This is a eight pack and I picked these up at Home Depot, a uh, special price for $1.99. So you can do the math, an eight pack for $1.99. And in some cases, and I've looked inside to see if there is, and here you can see there's two plants in one cell um, and also in this cell. So you could actually walk away with a pretty good deal. Um, some people look at it and say $4 for a pot like that. But if you look deeper into the insides, you may find that instead of an eight pack, you have many more plants. So I'm gonna use this as my filler. I'm gonna use the Persian Shield as my thriller. And I'm going to use the Vinca Vine around it to be my filler. And last but not least is my spiller, which will be the um, Silver Falls. So here we go. Perfect roots. We'll give it a center location. I'm gonna knock off some of the bottom soil so it'll fit down inside of the container. Just a little bit, loosen up the soil. And go around. Yep, the leaves are a little tattered, but trust me with the new growth, you won't even notice that. And the eight pack of the Binga Vine, I will squeeze each cell. And if I'm lucky enough without breaking the cells, I can use a bleach solution and repurpose these containers next season when I start my plants indoors. So, my seedlings indoors. I'm just squeeze them until they come out. There we go. And this is perfect, so I'll use that again. A bleach solution uh, one part bleach to ten parts water so I'll go around and add a bink of vine let's see there's eight in there I'm not going to divide the ones that have more than one in a cell I'm just going to leave it as is so I'll do that and then once I get these in I'll add the Silver Falls to Cascade. I need to hang the basket first to make sure that the Silver Falls is in the area that I would like for it to hang towards the front of the uh, hanging basket. So I'm just going to take my dibber, break up the soil a little bit, place each plant inside. And in about a week's time, they'll fill out really well. So I'm just going to break them off a little bit of the roots. And uh, get those down inside there. Just enough to allow them to get established. And I did not add any biotone or plant tone because I've already added my worm castings. So I'll just go around each area, break off some of the roots. Doesn't harm the plant. Instead of my dipper, I'll just use my fingers. This one is really strong, so just loosen up the soil on this one. I'm not going to pull any of the roots off and add it down inside. Move it closer to the 
front of the basket. Do the same thing with this one. Just loosen up the sole so it can fit down inside the basket. I probably could add a little bit more sole. And then after I do this, I'll water this in generously because of the reserve that's inside the well. And see how this works, a new gadget for my garden. Um, if that doesn't work out this year, then I'll go back to the drip irrigation, um, which I haven't disconnected yet. I have it hooked up in the pots that have my collidiums in it, so that'll work out. I think I am going to add just a little bit more soil. All the way around. And I think this should be very, very, very nice cascading over the uh, sides as it fills in. So I was excited to see, and I will have to share with you the website to see this reserve again. It's a basket well. Uh, it holds up to, what did I say? A quart, one quart of liquid. So I'm just gonna fill it up with water and see how it works out. The, uh, this is going to hang in the front of the basket as my spiller. And I'll do the same thing for the second basket. I'm not going to break up the root. I'm just going to open up or loosen up the soil because I want this to become very established. And once I pull up, does it hang? Take those off, I won't bother it. And this should hang right in the front. Open it up. Make a little room in here for it. And hopefully I have the front of my basket once I hang it up. And this will start to cascade down the front. A beautiful basket. A little burnt right here, but that's okay. It'll fill in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe. As always, happy gardening.